SpaceX never stops surprising us. Ever since the debut of the Raptor 3, Elon Musk's company has shaken the world with mind-blowing advancements that feel like they're straight out of the future, turning it into the most powerful rocket engine on the planet. But what you might not know is that SpaceX is quietly working on something even bigger, the Raptor 4, an engine that's expected to redefine the future of space exploration. With performance so far ahead, experts say it could take the rest of the world at least two decades to catch up. So, just how powerful will it be? What makes it different? And when could we see it fly? Let's break down on today's episode of Alpha Tech. On August 3rd, 2024, SpaceX shook the rocket and space community by officially unveiling a brand new engine after years of research, the Raptor 3. What surprised everyone wasn't just that SpaceX had built a new engine, it was how stunning it looked. The Raptor 3 boasted a sleeker, more refined design, while delivering a significant leap in performance over its predecessors, Raptor 1 and Raptor 2. This is the true power of SpaceX's iterative development philosophy. However, the road to developing it hasn't been easy. In response to a recent tweet discussing the Raptor engine's complexity, Elon Musk admitted, very complex startup sequence. Insane timing precision is needed to avoid blowing up the engine. They didn't just fix past mistakes, they refined everything they learned from building the earlier versions. As Elon once said, the best part is no part. In other words, the best way to reduce complexity is to remove it completely. And that's exactly what stands out in the Raptor 3. Fewer parts, more power. With only two more flights left for the remaining Starship block, two prototypes, Ship 37 and Ship 38, we're getting closer than ever to witnessing the full power of the Raptor 3 on Ship 39. This is the next-gen Starship that Elon Musk teased during his recent Mars presentation. Standing 52.1 meters tall, with a propellant capacity of 1,550 tons, Ship 39 will still feature the familiar setup of three vacuum engines and three sea-level engines. But here's the game-changer. Its total thrust reaches a jaw-dropping 1,600 tons of force, nearly 200 tons more than the Block 2 variant. Thanks to that boost, it's expected to carry 100 to 120 tons to LEO, even in a fully reusable configuration, roughly equivalent to deploying 60 Starlink V3 satellites, each weighing about 1.9 tons in a single flight. However, SpaceX's ambitions go far beyond launching satellites into Earth orbit or flying missions to the moon. To make the dream of settling Mars a reality, Starship will need to conquer deep space journeys lasting six to eight months, carrying hundreds of tons of payload, from base building equipment to crew members. And that kind of mission demands performance that goes well beyond what Raptor 3 can currently offer. With a specific impulse of 350 seconds, Raptor 3 is already an engineering marvel, but it still falls short of the ideal 380 to 400 seconds needed to truly optimize fuel usage for interplanetary missions, like orbital refueling or safe landings on the Martian surface. That's exactly why, even though it hasn't been officially announced, Raptor 4 is almost certainly already in development quietly behind the scenes. The first clues about this so-called Raptor 4 came up during a chat between Elon Musk and Tim Dodd from Everyday Astronaut. Musk casually dropped a mention of an engine that could push out 330 tons of thrust. Now, that's interesting because at the time, Raptor 3 had just been announced with a max thrust of 280 tons. And it gets better. In his most recent Mars presentation, Musk also talked about a future version of Starship, that could carry up to 300 tons of payload per flight. That's a big step up from what Block 3 can handle right now, around 200 tons, maybe a little more. So, yeah, if they're serious about lifting that kind of weight, they're gonna need a much more powerful engine. A Raptor 4 would totally make sense. So, what is it about Raptor 4 that could leave even the world's top scientists speechless? Well, first and most obvious, it's the raw thrust. At a projected 330 tons, Raptor 4 would be about 17% stronger than Raptor 3's 280 tons. To put that in perspective, one Raptor 4 would generate nearly half the thrust of the legendary F-1 engine from the Saturn V rocket, which pushed out 690 tons and sent humans to the moon. But here's where things get really wild. Efficiency. Raptor 4 is expected to hit around 380 seconds of specific impulse, 
That's fuel efficiency, basically. Compare that to the F1's 304 seconds in vacuum, and you're looking at a way more efficient engine that can go farther and carry more while burning less. Now scale that up. Throw 33 of these monsters on a super heavy booster, and you're looking at liftoff thrust around 10,890 tons, more than three times what Saturn V could manage. And the Starship upper stage? Future setups might include six vacuum raptors and three sea level ones, combining for up to 3,000 tons of thrust. That's just the ship, already matching Saturn V levels. And it's not just about raw thrust. Raptor 4 is also expected to bring major improvements in overall performance. Right now, Raptor 3 is already impressive. The sea level version delivers 350 seconds of specific impulse and operates at a chamber pressure of 350 bar, the highest among active rocket engines. Meanwhile, the vacuum variant, thanks to its oversized nozzle, reportedly reaches 380 seconds, according to Elon Musk back in August. Raptor 4, which is currently under development, is expected to go even further. Early estimates suggest it could reach 380 seconds of specific impulse even at sea level, while pushing chamber pressure up to 380 bar. That would mark a new standard in rocket engine efficiency, offering higher thrust while improving fuel efficiency by around 7.9%. And in space, every drop of propellant counts. Picture a Starship upper stage loaded with 1,500 liters of methane oxygen. With a 382nd ISP, a Raptor 4 would deliver around 1.81 kilometers per second of delta V, good for short suborbital hops or fine-tuning orbits, versus about 1.66 kilometers per second for Raptor 3. For the same 1.66 kilometers per second maneuver, Raptor 4 would save roughly 93 liters of propellant, about 6.2%, freeing up mass for extra payload or mission margin. And it's not just what it does, it's also how it's built. Another big selling point for Raptor 4 is plain old simplicity. With Raptor 3, SpaceX already trimmed a ton of finicky parts, integrating some, ditching others, and the engine got cheaper, faster, and tougher in the process. Raptor 4 is expected to double down on that minimalist approach, which means higher reliability, quicker production runs, and lower costs. That streamlined design also tackles the weak spots we saw in Raptor 2, slashing the odds of an engine failure during high-stress burns. On top of that, Raptor 3's beefed-up cooling system kept the hardware safe from brutal heat and pressure. Raptor 4 should push that even further. And here's the kicker. Simplifying the engine massively speeds up production. Raptor 1 took about 11 days to build, that dropped to just two days with Raptor 2, and eventually just one. With a cleaner, more efficient design, Raptor 3 is expected to push that time down even more. They're not at peak production yet, but things are clearly ramping up. As of May 20th, the 20th Raptor 3 had already been spotted, less than a year after the first one rolled out in August. And that pace is likely to accelerate as the factories scale up. Backing that momentum, Musk confirmed Raptor 3 has already completed over 300 test fires, totaling more than 16,000 seconds of burn time at the McGregor test site. That kind of cadence is key for SpaceX's vision of flying Starship early, often and at scale. Now, let me tell you a little secret about the price of each Raptor 4. Elon Musk has made it clear he wants rocket engines to be as cheap as possible. He's even thrown out a target under $250,000 per engine. That sounds crazy low, right? But long-term, it might not be so far-fetched. Here's the catch. Just the raw materials, especially the high nickel super alloys used in the combustion chamber and nozzle, can cost up to $100,000 on their own. Then you've got expensive components like engine controllers, pressure sensors, spin rate sensors, all designed to survive cryogenic temps and sky-high pressures. Add in the cost of testing and certification, and yeah, things add up fast. Sure, automation helps cut down on labor, but it doesn't make the work disappear. It just shifts it to designing, building, and maintaining the machines that build the engines. The real cost slayer, volume. The more Raptors you pump out, the cheaper they get. That's where Raptor 4 comes in. It's expected to take simplification even further. More parts integrated into fewer assemblies, fewer bolts and seals, fewer things that can go wrong. Plus, it's being built to last, 
to fly more missions with less refurbishment. So will they hit that $250,000 goal right away? Probably not. But it's not just a wild dream either. In the near term, a more realistic number for Raptor 4 might be around $500,000 per engine, which is still a massive drop from earlier versions and a huge step toward making spaceflight truly affordable. So, are you excited about the upcoming debut of Raptor 4? If you are, drop a yes in the comments below. Thank you. Even though Raptor 4 is still more concept than hardware, Musk's been name-dropping it since 2024, so you can bet SpaceX has a Skunk Works team poking at early prototypes. Think Apple. While everyone's rushing to grab an iPhone 16, the engineers are already knee-deep in iPhone 17. For now, the spotlight stays on what's real. Raptor 3 is still coming off the line and grinding through a heavy test campaign, with its official debut slated for later this year. Raptor 4? Figure a few more laps around the sun, probably 2028 or beyond. That isn't just guesswork. It fits SpaceX's mission cadence and long-range tech roadmap. In the meantime, Raptor 3 is about to take center stage. Right around the time SpaceX may attempt one of its boldest missions yet, catching both stages of Starship using Mechazilla's chopsticks for the very first time. After that, focus will shift to developing and testing the in-orbit refueling system, which ties directly into the Starship VV-3 design. Once that's up and running, SpaceX will begin flying the lunar variant of Starship on uncrewed demo missions, laying the groundwork for future crewed moon landings. The biggest moment of all? When Starship finally returns humans to the lunar surface, more than 50 years after the last footsteps on the moon. And speaking of the moon, we can't ignore Russia, especially now, as they've just made a bold move. Rosatom, the country's state-run nuclear giant, recently unveiled a lab prototype of a magnetic plasma rocket engine. It generates at least six newtons of thrust with a staggering specific impulse over 100 kilometers per second. That's more than 10,000 seconds, far beyond what chemical rockets can achieve. 